Balinese cat versus Havana brown cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Named for the exotically graceful dancers on the Indonesian island of Bali, the Balinese is a long-haired variety of Siamese. It is unknown whether the long hair is the result of a natural mutation or a cross between the Siamese and a long-haired breed such as a Persian or Turkish Angora. Although long-haired Siamese appeared earlier, the cats did not begin to be developed as a breed until the 1940s and 1950s. The Cat Fanciers Federation recognized the Balinese in 1961, followed by the Cat Fanciers Association in 1970. They are also recognized by the American Cat Fanciers Association and the International Cat Association, as well as other cat registries. Balinese can be outcrossed to Javanese, Siamese, color point short hairs, and Oriental long hairs. How did a brown cat of Southeast Asian origin, believed to offer protection from evil, come to be known as a Swiss mountain cat, and how did it then adopt the name, Havana Brown? The full answers to those questions are lost to history, but what appears to have happened is that solid brown cats of Siamese type from Thailand were exhibited in Britain in the 1890s. Somehow during that time, they acquired the moniker Swiss Mountain Cat. In 1920, the Siamese Cat Club of Britain decided that brown cats without blue eyes were no longer desirable, and that was that. Breeders lost interest in them until the 1950s when a group of British cat breeders sets themselves the task of determining the genetic makeup of a self-brown, solid-colored, cat. They eventually produced a male chestnut brown kitten, the result of a cross between a short-haired black cat and a chocolate point Siamese. Russian blues and Burmese may also have played a role in the development of what came to be known as the Havana brown. Except for coat length, the Siamese and the Balinese are indistinguishable, having a svelte but muscular body with long lines and a wedge-shaped head that is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base and pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. Medium-sized eyes are almond-shaped. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Balinese walk on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, plumed tail that tapers to a fine point. The appearance of the body is softened by a medium-length coat that is fine and silky. It is longest on the plumed tail. The Balinese come in the same point colors as the Siamese, seal, chocolate, blue, and lilac. The eyes are always a deep, vivid blue. The traditional cat association recognizes a Balinese of a different type, one with a more rounded head and body. It also has a fluffier coat that is long over the entire body, unlike the show Balinese, whose coat is longest on the tail. The Havana Brown's distinctive color extends even to his whiskers. He is the only cat with a breed standard that spells out whisker color, brown, of course, complementing the coat color. Looking out from all that minky brown richness are vivid green eyes with an oval shape. The Havana is also distinguished by its uncommon head shape, it's longer than it is wide. Large ears tilt forward. He has a firm, muscular body covered in short, smooth fur in a rich, warm reddish brown. Kittens and young adults may have the barest hint of tabby markings, which disappear as they mature. The nose leather is brown with a rosy flush, and the paw pads are a rosy brown as well. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Siamese and the Balinese might differ in coat length, but beneath the skin they are identical. Balinese are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Balinese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. He is frequently underfoot, so he might not be the best choice for people who are unsteady on their feet or use a walker or cane. A Balinese is perhaps not quite as loud as his relative the Siamese, but he is most definitely just as opinionated. He will tell you exactly what he thinks, and he expects you to pay attention and act on his advice. You can also count on him to tell all the visitors, so be grateful that most people are not conversant in the Balinese language. The Balinese are highly intelligent, agile, and athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys and his body exercise with teaser toys that he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. He likes to play fetch, is willing to walk on a leash, and learns tricks easily. He is also a good trainer himself and may be running your household before you know it. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided that your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Do not get a Balinese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. 
On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Balinese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Balinese don't mind staying home during the day while you go off to earn money to buy cat food, but they will expect you to devote time to them when you are at home. It can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. Choose a Balinese if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. The rich tobacco-colored cat known as the Havana Brown may or may not be named for the addictive leaf, but the cats themselves are addictive to the people who come to know them. They are outgoing and friendly. Expect one to follow you around the house as you go about your day. Like most cats with Siamese ancestry, the Havana can be demanding and talkative, but his voice is softer and his personality more subtle. He is smart and likes the challenge of teaser and puzzle toys. When he is through playing, the affectionate Havana will happily ensconce himself on your lap. The fine, silky coat of the Balinese is easily cared for. Comb it once or twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair. A bath is rarely necessary. The Havana brown short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, Wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep Balinese and Havana Brown as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. These active, playful, and social Balinese and Havana Brown are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. They live peacefully with cats and dogs who respect their authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.